Hello my friends, welcome to day 16 of Kegel Camp. You might very well be doing a daily double tonight. So yesterday, day 15, we talked about a bed routine that you could do in the evening if you're doing your regular Kegel Camp work in the morning. So right now, this is probably your morning routine, and tonight you might do the bed routine that you learned yesterday. If you do, let me know how it goes in the comments. So let's get right into it. We're gonna keep this routine pretty quick. We're gonna go right into that dynamic stretch and strengthener of the pelvic floor that we did the other day, the side lunge. Now, we're gonna make it a little bit deeper this time. So what you wanna do is you wanna step out to the side, the knee is tracking right over the foot, and you're gently engaged through the pelvic floor before you even get started. So again, you're gonna step out wide, and you're really gonna sit, we're gonna go deeper, so you're really gonna sit your butt back as you do this lunge this time, okay? Then you're gonna gather up your strength even more and you're gonna come back up to the middle. Now, keep going. If you know how to do this, if you're feeling good about the side lunge, do about 10 to 15 at the most on each side. I'm gonna share a couple of quick modifications. If this is just too much for you, remember you can always hold on to something and just step tiny to the side, or you can even just stand with your feet nice and wide, and you can just do a gentle stretch from side to side. Just a gentle stretch, keeping your knee over your toes. Again, knee over toes. But if you're loving this side lunge, really make sure that you're engaged through that core, you're really sitting your butt back, feeling that stretch of the inner thigh and that dynamic strengthening of the pelvic floor, the inner thighs, the glutes, everything. Okay, finish up that side. Maybe we did 10 to 15 reps. We're gonna do the same number on the other side. So shake it all out, let it go, let it relax, and then let's go straight into the other side. Kegel Camp is all about strengthening everything in the core, not just the pelvic floor itself. We wanna bring it all together. So let's go ahead and do the other side. Do the modifications that I showed you or go right into it. We're gonna step wide. You still wanna do it with control. Really sitting your bum back and then exhale to come up. So it's a gentle step out to the side, but strong. Gentle and strong can coexist. And then exhale as you come on back. You might wanna do this with shoes, but I actually like to do these moves with no shoes and strengthen the muscles of my feet and my ankle, sitting back and then exhale strongly up. Make sure that you feel like you're really in control. So you're lifted through the pelvic floor and exhaling up. Keep going so that you're even on both sides. And I just wanna chime in one more time with that modification. If that was too much, if you realize at any time that is too much, then just do a little stretch. A little turn of the knee and stretch, and a turn of the knee and stretch. So finish up so that you're even on both sides, and let go. Release the legs, shake it all out. For our last move today, we're keeping it really simple. Our last move is standing kegels. Now, if standing is not a good option for you, you can still bring the chair over, sit down, or you can lie on the ground, whatever feels good for you. Standing is gonna be the hardest because we're working against gravity and also because your body's having to keep yourself upright, you know, use all your muscles. And so it's gonna be easier to sit or lie down. So choose your position and let's go ahead and begin with the kegels. Well, first of all, if you're standing, stand nice and aligned and tall. So feet are under your hips, uh, maybe even a little slightly wider. You're really lifted through the spine. You've got nice posture. Your ribs are pulled in. We don't want them jutting forward like this. So everything is nice and aligned. Shoulders are out to the sides, shoulder blades down your back. And you're going to do that kegel that we've been working on. That's a lift, 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 and then a lower, lower, lower. So try that on your own right now. Do it even while I'm talking. So on your own count, however that works for you, it's a squeeze and lift, just a little bit, then a little bit more, and then all the way, and then a release, release, and then a release all the way. Keep going, keep going on your own. And at any time, if you feel like you're unable to feel the release, 
then it might actually mean that either your muscles are getting too tense and too tight, which can happen for a lot of people, and it's too hard to let them go, or it might mean that actually your muscles are just really tired and you weren't really getting much of a contraction either. So if you're no longer feeling the release, then that's definitely a sign that you actually need to stop and be done for the day, or maybe lie down on your back, or maybe even lie down on your back with your hips propped up on pillows and keep going. So your choice, but just make sure that you're really tuned in to what your pelvic floor is doing. Can you proceed or do you need to take a little rest or back off so that you're no longer standing? Again, standing is the hardest position. So now that you've done those, let's go ahead and try a different type of Kegel. Let's try our slow holds. So we're just gonna do three of the five second holds. So squeeze and lift. Feel your pelvic floor muscles squeezing and lifting like you're pulling up. I want you to think of everything, not just the front, not just that urethral area, but also the back. Think of pulling everything up in your little pelvic floor hammock, lifting up toward the middle of the body, toward your belly button, and then release. <sighs> Let it all go. Maybe you even need to like shake out your legs. Maybe you need to shimmy out your butt. Maybe you even need to grab your sitting bones and literally pull everything apart. That can help. Just make sure you've let it go. Let's do two more of those. So squeeze and lift the whole entire pelvic floor like it's a jellyfish drawing up in the middle. So squeeze and lift and hold it. Try while you're holding this five second hold to make sure that you're not squeezing your butt muscles too much. It's really just those inside pelvic floor muscles. And now release all the way. Okay, let it all go and we'll do one more. So squeeze and lift those pelvic floor muscles around all of the pelvic floor openings, the urethra in men and women, the vagina in women, and the anus in men and women. Everything is lifting, 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 and then release, let it go. Shake out the legs. And we're gonna end with just a couple of quicks. I want you to do however many you want to do. Minimum being 10 and maximum being 20 to 30. We don't wanna do too many. So just on your own count, I want you to do the squeeze and lift, full release. Squeeze and lift, full release. Keep going while I talk, keep going. Squeeze and lift, full release. Now again, what we don't want is your butt muscles super, super clenching. We want this really isolated to the pelvic floor itself. And I want you to really feel that gentle squeeze and lift and then the full and complete release. If at any time you're no longer able to feel the contraction or the release, then that means that probably your muscles are just exhausted. They're done, they've had it. So stop, it's totally okay. We're slowly building strength. The other option would be to go down a notch by lying down on the ground to complete your reps. All right, let's call it good. And remember that tonight you can do your daily double by doing the routine from yesterday, day number 15, in the evening before you go to sleep. I hope this has been fun for you. And if you liked this, give it a thumbs up, share this series with a friend, and come back tomorrow for another day of Kegel Camp. Until then, eat clean, move every day, and you will shine brighter.